Our next guest today is coming up on his one year anniversary in the position of president and CEO of Visit Baltimore. His name is Al Hutchinson and he's responsible for overseeing the promotion of the Baltimore region as a destination for everything from conventions to family reunions. Please welcome Visit Baltimore president and CEO Al Hutchinson. Thanks for being a guest on my show today. Thank you very much, Karen. Good to be here. Yeah. So coming up on one year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you came from Virginia, is that correct? Well, most recently I was in a similar job in Mobile, Alabama. Okay. But my hometown is Richmond, Virginia, yeah. which I sold that city. So years what, ago. what brings you into the whole tourism field? Well, I stumbled onto the job of blind newspaper ad um, 25 years ago and then uh, selling my hometown of Richmond, fell in love with the industry. And in order to grow in the industry, my path, I had to move around the country. Mm -hmm. So this is my sixth destination, I, Richmond, Charlotte, Pittsburgh, Virginia Beach, Mobile, Alabama, and now the great city of Baltimore. Yeah, so you know, to many people, your job may sound fun, exciting, exhilarating, yeah. but it has its challenges. It does, but it's all of what you described as well. This, this is a very uh, exciting job when you can sort of travel the world and tell a story about a destination. It's very exciting. And also my job is to bring visitors here and for them to fall in love with Baltimore and experience Baltimore from the restaurant scene, the museum scene, obviously in the conventions and our hotels, we want them to take advantage of that as well. But we really want them to leave with a great Baltimore experience and then go home and tell their family and friends, you gotta go to Baltimore. So what do you think it is about Baltimore that entices people to come here? Well, I tell people all the time, I believe Baltimore is one of the top destinations in the country and on the East Coast is one of the top five destinations. So Baltimore's story is, is history. You know, the War of 1812 is big to some folks. Folks like water, the way we're situated with the Inner Harbor is very, very special. We have a natural resource there. Um, the, the culinary scene is really big in Baltimore now. And what our team's doing is telling the neighborhood story. So there's a great scene in Canton. There's a great scene in Mount Vernon. There's a different scene in, in Remington. There's a different scene in, in Federal Hill. So it's really about the neighborhood story. And I think uh, our travelers, they want that authentic and real experience. And that's part of what Baltimore has to offer. And folks want to see that and they want to feel it, uh, the experience of a, a city like Baltimore. Yeah, do you think, you know, in the six cities that you've been in, is there a common thread when it comes to getting visitors to come to a specific place or city? Uh, that's a great question. I would say the common thread is you better make sure you're telling a very authentic story based to what your, your primary story is. And each destination is gonna be different but the consumer is too smart for you to fake, fake them out and tell them something that's not real about your community. So it has to be authentic. It needs to be a very real story. And so I think Baltimore has uh, so many great attributes and so many great assets that we can tell. Um, and our job really are storytellers. So we wanna really do even more of, of storytelling to Baltimore to get more of the visitors to come to this great city. Yeah, and apparently that storytelling is, is doing big things because tourism is growing. You know, you're absolutely right. Last year we we're at 25.9 visitors. That was up 2.8 visitors from this, the year before. I keep my job by that number continuing to grow. <laughs> so um, tourism is growing in Baltimore. It's a really good time. We took a dip, obviously, after Freddie Gray. But our uh, sales team, our marketing team has done a really, really good job of telling the story even better to drive visitation to Baltimore. And we're, we're be really becoming one of those destinations that people want to come to and they, they need to come to it. And do you attribute the growth in tourism, you know, you talked about this earlier about, uh, uh, you know, telling those authentic stories from each individual neighborhood, from real people that live there? Yeah, it's really important. Um, again, folks, if you're a cool city, you're gonna have some cool hotels, right? That's expected, that's the price of admission. You should have a nice convention center. But the new traveler wants more than that. They wanna be able to go out and experience what's going on in your neighborhoods that sort of makes Baltimore special. So we're telling that story more. I, th I think that really makes us a little different and unique because of the neighborhood experience. And now we're putting a Baltimore face to it when we tell this story. So we're beginning to create a lot of uh, videos and information. It's a Baltimore look and feel. It's, it's, it's a gritty feel, but it is Baltimore. And uh, folks want to see that. Yeah, and you know, we're gonna take a quick break, but coming up, we're gonna talk about how to get people involved. Absolutely. In making this 
a top destination for people we, all over the world to come to. We want them involved. <laughs> all right. Well, stay with us. We'll be right back with more with Al Hutchison from Visit Baltimore. Stay with us. Welcome back to Game Changers with my guest, Al Hutchinson, CEO and President of Visit Baltimore. So before the break, we were talking about there's a campaign that people can participate in via social media. Sure. Talk to us about that. So what we, from research, we know our main job as an organization is to drive out-of-market visitors to, to Baltimore for conventions and for leisure visitor. However, we know that locally, we need to get our local citizens excited about Baltimore. So we wanted to create an initiative, and we call it more of an initiative than a campaign, to really uh, create more civic pride, because any destination is special, you better make sure your local citizens are excited about it. They become your cheerleaders. So we created, not really created, but we expanded upon an initiative called Hashtag Might Be More. We, we had My Be More being played in the market right after Freddie Gray. Uh, we had some local celebrity faces on it, the Kevin Planks of the world, and Wes Moore was a part of that campaign. But we really felt what we were missing was to really, just the people in the communities, their faces, their look. So in June of this year, really July, we rolled this out. And we did it from a social media perspective because we know 70% of the folks who travel in this country, they make their traveling decisions through social media. Isn't that interesting? It's very interesting. So we wanted to take advantage of it. So we wanted to push it through Instagram, through Facebook, to really th tell more of a positive story. There's a lot of negative out here, but we wanted to reach out to our local citizens and say, look, take a photo as you go to a nice uh, restaurant as you go to a beautiful museum share those stories and let and send it to us and let us push it out to our local residents and we call it share the love because we want folks to be excited about Baltimore yeah it's important to, to spread that love you know that happiness like you said there's so much going on in the yeah, world right now we need some positivity for sure and it's a Baltimore we need we need positivity positivity but I think as a country mm -hmm. folks are looking for some good news stories as well so we wanted to start local mm -hmm. um, that's really what this is is really a local initiative and it's really uh, a mission a cause and we want all of our citizens here in Baltimore to be, become a part of it doesn't cost you anything we know you're on social media but go tell the Baltimore story and drive a lot of folks to this great city. Yeah. So in your opinion, how has using the hashtag My Be More been working so far? You know, we were pleasantly surprised. When we first started this, we had about 500 positive images that our team would use to tell the Baltimore story. We launched this uh, initiative in July. We now have over 25,000 positive images of Baltimore, which is really fantastic. Yeah. People are, are using it. We really think it's great for the tourism space, but it's really good for John Hopkins and Morgan State as they want to recruit students to Baltimore. It's good for Under Armour and BGE who wants to recruit the best and brightest talent to Baltimore. Mm -hmm. So it, it really transcends the tourism space, but we, we're very excited about it and we're encouraging all your viewers to, to use hashtag my be more. All right, once again, hashtag my be more. All right, um, I wanna switch gears a little bit and sure. talk uh, you know, briefly about the visitor center because you all offer a lot more than what people may, may know. I mean, you're, you're considered a, a postal service right we now are. you offer uh, families information on planning their family reunions yeah so great question so the visitor center right in inner harbor is a great gym that's owned by the city of baltimore our organization we manage it on behalf of the city it's a great place if folks want to have an event there they can use that that venue at a very reasonable cost mm -hmm. the good news though is when you go and rent that facility a uh, percentage of your proceeds goes to our foundation. So we have a give back um, foundation that does scholarships, workforce development here in Baltimore City. And so we want folks to know that yes, we we're, we're want folks to come here and visit us, but we also want to leave a good footprint here in, in Baltimore and put people to work, create some jobs. All right, another important uh, mention right yes. there too. All right, well, Mr. Hutchinson, I want to thank you so much for being a guest on Game Changers. My pleasure, uh, thank before, you. Before we leave in about uh, 20 seconds, What's the goal? Well, our goal is to make sure Baltimore becomes the best visitor experience destination in the country. We want folks to come from all over the world to see what they've been missing. We think we're special. We have things to offer that no other destination has to offer. So our doors are open. We're welcoming of all people. 
and uh, we want you to come see us and then go home and tell your family and friends that we are a must-see destination. Well, thanks, Al, for being a guest today on Game Changers. And i also like to thank my other guest, Director Rudy Chow with the Department of Public Works. That does it for another edition of Game Changers. Thanks for watching.